So this film is based off true events. So when you went in and dove into your character, St. Clair, did you find that maybe he was a little bit of a gold digger or was he truly devoted to Florence? Well, on the whole, he was truly devoted. Um, but I think s maybe in some subconscious way, he, he, never, oh, well, he never realized that, of course, maybe one of her attractions might have been that she, she was rich and he was a failed actor. But he was, um, the more I researched him and read his letters and his diaries and things, the more I realized he was a, a really n nice bloke. Um, and, uh, yeah, he definitely loved her. Well, I also found it very interesting in the film that the New York uh, Post critic found that Florence was egotistical and that she was self-serving. So it gave this undercurrent of maybe there was a sense of greed, which I never found. I found it, this was a film of passion. When you look into the character of Florence, uh, what was your view of Florence? Well, our Florence, who may not be completely identical to the true historical one, is um, just someone who uh, has a passion, you know, she loves music and she loves singing and um, that's really w w where she comes from and that there's no, of course she was a little bit of a, an egomaniac but, but it's all offset and made more rich and more amusing by the fact that there's a, a real genuine passion there and I think people's enthusiasms are always attractive. And that's why she's an attractive character. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I totally fell in love with. And the fact that I would think it would hurt literally for Meryl Streep to have to sing like that on a consistent basis. But did you at just some point just start laughing in hysterics at her like vocal extravagance? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I've always had a laughing problem. And uh, it was very difficult when she was in full throat not to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, to say the least. I, I enjoyed so much watching this film. And again, I think I found, I enjoyed it because of this passion undercurrent about someone who had a passion and who was going for a dream, no matter what that looked like. What did you find endearing about this film? Well, that's it. As you say, it's, uh, it's endearing because of her passion and her enthusiasm. But I also love the fact that in a way, it's a celebration of the oddity of human beings and, and, and a little group of eccentrics, really. I mean, what an insane trio they ended up being. She can't sing, but she sings. I can't act, but I act. Um, and then there's poor little McMoon, played by Simon Helberg, who's sort of confused in the whole little world. But, but we all ended up loving each other. And as my character says at one point, ours was a happy world. And, um, and I think that's really what it's about. watching this interview as always don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comment section below for the next made in hollywood interview click right here do it click it